G'day all, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Here's a, uh, a quick scrapping trial uh, on a washing machine. Now, if you check YouTube, there's uh, there's stacks and stacks of videos on scrapping washing machines, and the guys have been doing them for years. Uh, some guys know what they're doing, some don't. Some just make a big mess. None of them really give you the facts and figures, and that's what I'm all about. So, uh, this older model washing machine is the sort you'd probably find on a, a street scrapping hard rubbish collection situation uh, are they worth picking up well we'll do a quick test and see now what I'm about here is uh, is economics getting value for your time so we'll give you a bit of a rundown on what to look for um, you know attack it quickly don't waste time and where you can get some value out of it this one as I said is an older model um, if we have a look in it hasn't even got a stainless steel uh, tub it's only plastic tub so there's not much value in there um, so I'll give you a quick video instruction on on how I handle this and we'll time it and we'll weigh up the uh, what we salvage out of it at the end and just see if it's economically viable to even consider picking them up or whether you just should uh, look the other way and drive past so let's get into this um, scrapping exercise we'll tip the washing machine over first and snip the cord off the cords are always good value so we'll put that one aside and then we want to attack from underneath so we'll tip it up and I'll spin this around so you can see it uh, two bolts hold the uh, main electric motor in so they're pretty easy to whip out they're quite accessible and uh, generally the washing machines are pretty clean underneath and not rusty so things undo fairly easily uh, these two bolts uh, good hardware I'll throw all them in a pile and I'll explain about that a bit later so then we'll just snip the belt, there's no sense mucking around taking things apart neatly. Uh, cut the wires off and uh, I nearly always forget there's an earth wire underneath which holds them in. So there we go, electric motor out in under a minute. So the next thing to attack under here is the solenoid. Um, it pulls the washing machine from the wash cycle to the spin cycle. Uh, generally just a screw each side. Most of these uh, upright or top loading washing machines are all constructed similarly so uh, the parts are easy to identify so the uh, solenoid comes out with the two screws cut the wires again and the little connecting link is often plastic this one is so rather than mucking around getting little cotter pins out and undoing clips I just cut the plastic link with the, the cutters so there we go solenoids out uh, good copper windings in that now the next part, uh, probably the pump motor. It's not a big motor, so it's not worth a great deal, but uh, it's only two or three screws to take it out. Uh, this machine, by chance, has had the uh, drain hoses disconnected for some reason, so it may have had a blockage or a fault, or someone's robbed it for a hose. So it's a bit easier, I don't have to disconnect that. But uh, again, I can just uh, snip the hoses with the cutters cutting the wires here again there'll be an earth wire so there we go the pumps out uh, and there's just a couple of baffles to take off that pump to reveal the motor so underneath now that's all the main components it's worth um, clipping out the wiring loom because uh, there's a fair bit of wire goes from the top control panel down to the works at the bottom so just clip a few of the um, little ties or plastic clips don't worry about the terminals on the end of the wire, just rip the whole loom out as quickly as you can. You could even leave the wiring, it's not a lot of value, but uh, I like to stack up the wire, and generally it comes out pretty easy. So I've rolled the machine up the other way now, get into the control panel. There's only three screws across the top to take that out. And uh, you can see there the loom comes up underneath. So that's all the wire in a good... Uh, a good ball of it now you can also clip the wire from around the controls um, if you're that inclined again it's probably not really worth the effort but uh, oh, as I said I like to stack the wire up and it doesn't take long to you've got a good pair of cutters so just whip along and clip it all out so that's gutted any valuable stuff out of the machine uh, really in under 10 minutes uh, it doesn't take long if you know what to target and how they come apart um, the rest of the machine I'll just use to fill with those were the baffles that came off the pump I just before. So we'll fill it up just with light gauge pressing steel. 
the machine originally probably weighed about 40 50 kilos so if you just picked it up off the street and took it into a scrapyard you'd probably get about five bucks for it so we've pinched the good stuff out of it by the time we put a bit of junky stuff back in it you're still going to get five bucks for it all right so what we end up with here is an assortment of hardware bits and pieces anything uh, that's usable especially hose clamps and good bolts um, I throw in jars and if you have a look at this jar over here old coffee jar full of nuts and bolts um, I put them through the shop and I get five to ten dollars each for those people that uh, like you know have hobbies or farmers that want bits of hardware so I always save those bits it adds up to some value um, the other thing I grabbed off at the start is the couple of hoses uh, often when you find a machine they're actually just coiled up like this in it anyway um, if they're in good nick you'd get a couple of dollars you probably even get five dollars for a pair of hoses but uh, let's not be greedy let's just say a dollar uh, now I've weighed the rest up electric motors and the solenoid are on the scales at the moment uh, and that's uh, six and a half kilos just over and we'll weigh the wire in a tick and uh, we'll get the notepad out and see what value we've rescued in uh, really just 10 minutes tops so the final wash up uh, those of you that follow my channel know I like a notepad uh, washing machine scrap value um, run through it here complete about five bucks worth electric motors worked out at three dollars fifty uh, the wire I guessed at a dollar fifty a kilo it's around that somewhere uh, 75 cents sundries hoses the hardware bits and pieces so I just wrote down a couple of bucks but that certainly can multiply out if you've got an avenue to sell them. I have a second-hand shop, so I'll probably do better than that. But even if you throw them out at a garage sale or go to a market, you'll sell them. So uh, eleven twenty-five, which is six dollars twenty-five extra value in really an easy ten minutes, and the more you do, the quicker you get. Uh, Thirty-seven fifty an hour. That's not too bad, really. So you know, whilst I probably wouldn't pull over in traffic to try and pick up an old washing machine. When I get them out of house lots, it's certainly worth targeting the good bits and pulling them out before I just send it off as light pressing steel. The ones that do have stainless steel drums, uh, it's probably worth getting them out to sell the drums because they sell well as fire pits or even planters. Um, the amount of stainless steel you get probably isn't worth the effort because they are hard to get out. Um, you know, there's a bit of time involved in taking the gearbox off and, and the suspension hangers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, likewise, the little solenoid valves that some of you will be aware of in the back here, uh, they are copper, but I've left them there for the amount of weight that's in them, it's negligible. I know they'll come out easy, but really I'm just looking at the best economical use of my time. So um, likewise, you know, you'll have Scrappy say, oh, you know, the timer switch and these other uh, sensor switches are going to have silver contacts. Yes, but I'm not keen on working for about five cents an hour. So, um... You know, if you enjoy stripping things and, and pulling stuff apart, well, just do it for the fun of it. That's fine. But uh, economically, I like to show my uh, viewers the maths behind it all and the viability of it. And you can make up your own mind from there. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll do another video trial soon. As I said, there's plenty of these on YouTube already, but, you know, I have my own take on it. And hopefully you get a bit of value from my videos. Be sure to subscribe and give us some comments and likes. Much appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching.